Hi guys, Hosen here from Hosen Guitars. Today I'm going to show you how we restring the guitar. What we have here is a steel string guitar, a very nice blue label. Okay, the first thing you do is we need to have strings. So at uh, Hosen Guitars, we use Elixir strings 1353. So I have a set here. That's one thing that we don't do it because right now it's in tune. So there's a 70 kg of load on the guitar right now. The last thing we want to do is use a cutter and cut the strings and that will release the whole tension from the system. We want to avoid sudden uh, release of tension from the system. So we just slowly unwind all of them. Of course, what you can see here, I have a range of tools here that is going to be useful. So we have this. This is a Allen key or adjustable wrench that we are going to adjust the truss rod with it. Okay, this is a Hosen limited edition one. Uh, we have a 10mm uh, wrench. We're going to tighten the, the machine heads. And of course, we have a screwdriver as well that we're going to tighten here. So this is where we will, we will tighten so that the knobs are tight. I don't have super hearing, so I need a tuner. And of course, we have a very handy um, a tool here, string changing tool. I actually have a winder that you can actually use it to wind the strings. It also have a string cutter and also a bridge pin puller as well. So it's really a very handy tool to use. But at the workshop, we just use pliers. Other than that, we have a fret butter here. This is to use to clean up the frets and, uh, and the fingerboard, which I will show you in a while. Of course, that's one thing that's really, really important when it comes to uh, taking care of your instrument other than changing strings you have to watch the humidity. So we built our guitars within 40 to 60 RH, and uh, we really encourage you to just maintain storing your guitar in this uh, environment as well. So the best tool that, that we have here, we use the Bovida. The Bovida is a, it's a really useful uh, pack. It takes off the moisture, and it puts back the moisture at the same time for, for a period of time. If one it's not enough, you can get two. That will, that will really help to ensure that your guitar is in a good humidity environment. All right, with that, I'm going to start restringing. So we're going to start removing the strings right now. You can have this wounder that you can just uh, remove the strings. You can just turn it like that. But we use this at the workshop. Okay, now the strings are loose, so we're going to remove the bridge pins. You just got to take note, there is a different kind of uh, tools that's available. So this is actually one of them. So this is one way to do it. Okay, uh, I don't really like to use this because I'm really used to uh, using what we have at the workshop. So I will switch to what we have at the workshop. So it's critical to just place the pins. This is the sixth string. So I will place it at the sixth string. So this is, I have a little container that does this. And this is what I'm used to it. All right, with the pins removed, it's time to take down the strings. Uh, sometimes they might get stuck here because the, the ball end it's uh, sitting really tightly on the bottom of the bridge plate. So you might just want to reach your hand inside just to give it a little bit of nudge and it will pop out. Alright, uh, so we're going to unwind the strings. Uh, just be a little bit careful of the snap back. Sometimes when you when the strings might snap back and give you a bit of a nick. So this is... All right, now with the strings removed, uh, it's good to uh, have a habit of coiling them and uh, before you dispose them. So this is what I'll do. I'll actually recommend a string change every one to two months, especially if one of your strings break. So a lot of us actually want to save costs and then just replace one string. But actually, that's the time whereby it's telling you the string is due. So uh, I would suggest you change the whole set at one time. Old strings, they tend to lose their tension as well. So without a good tension, you will get string buzzing and many problems actually will come when the strings are old. All 
All right, with the strings off now, this is the best time to clean up your instrument. Give it a good clean, especially fingerboard and this area as well. This uh, headstock here, you can see we have the machine heads. Periodically, they need tightening. What we have here, mentioned earlier, the 10 mm wrench. Just give it a little bit of nudge adjustment so that it's, uh, it's tight. I don't need to be so tight, but a nudge tight. So once you're done, get a small uh, screwdriver as well. And then that's where we're going to adjust here. You see these screws here? It's, uh, sometimes they, they, lose, they are loose and they don't have a very good uh, machine head feel. So we just want to give it a little bit of adjustment, just make sure it's tight. Well, they are very tight. They are very tight, pretty tight to me right now. With this done, I think it's a good time to clean up the fingerboard as well. We have a nice Hosan polishing cloth here. Right, so we're going to use this to clean up the guitar. Uh, the body, this is uh, actually a microfiber, so it actually doesn't scratch. Or any kind of microfiber tower you can find uh, that actually doesn't scratch the, the guitar. I have a turtle wax. Uh, you can use any kind of wax that's silicone free. Make sure it's silicone free because it actually bites into the finish. So a little bit of uh, turtle wax goes a long way. Just a little bit and then we clean it off. Uh, we will clean off again later because uh, as I change the strings, my, my grubby fingerprints might, might be on it. But this is the part that you want to clean it a little bit more because you can't reach it when the strings are on. And for the fingerboard, this is what we use at the workshop. It's called a fret butter. All right, it's a, it's a really a very useful thing that actually polishes the fret at the same time nourishes the fingerboard. Of course, you can use any kind of mineral oil as well. Uh, what that's readily available on the market is reusable, so it's very quick. You can immediately see how the frets are shining as I'm rubbing this in. So this is enough. Uh, we can always put it back. We can save it for later. All right, once you're done with the fret butter, move in with a clean cloth and uh, clean off the excess. Ah, uh, you can see all the dirt from the frets uh, and also uh, the tarnish on the frets as well as the fingerboard. So we wanna make sure we get rid of all the oil here. And voila. Can compare before and after, it's uh, pretty amazing uh, what this uh, fret butter can do. Uh, this is what we do at the workshop here. And once this is clean, so down here we have a set of elixir strings. I'm going to put in the strings first, then I'm going to show you up here. All right, this is string number one. And just now we actually label this is string number one as well. So we're going to put back the same one in. We've got to pull until it's you can hear that, right? It locks in. And then we're going to do the same for the rest of the strings as well. Okay, you lock in place. So now the strings are in, then we'll focus on the top here. Before I actually put on the strings, I actually would like to just give you a nice rub here just to get off the grimes. There you go, this is the sixth string. So we've got to go in. So down here, it's uh, how much should we cut? It's really one string post on top. So down here, I'll actually pull it back. And then I, I would actually give you a 90 degree turn inside before I start tightening the strings. And as I tighten the strings, I must be guiding the string along and pushing it down. This one, you can actually choose to cut it or you can uh, wait until the end to cut it. But what we do at the workshop, we wait until the end, right? So we carry on tightening. It's the same for the A string. One and pull back and 
90 degrees, All right? So what happens for these strings? There is no more poles up here, okay? What we do is uh, we imagine there's one more pose. So that's about here. Pull it back, same. Push it in. All right, we're gonna do it from the first string. A little bit easier as you go up in that sense. So it's the same. I like to do from the first string up from this side as well. So it's the same this side. We go in, string pose. It's uh, about one. And then we put it back again. Okay, we always bend it inside. Okay, bend it inside. And always maintain pressure on the string as we, as we guide it down. Same for this as well, imaginary pose, back down, turn in. Alright, now we can proceed to cut the strings. We like not to have this dangling around, but of course if you like, there are some players actually would, would do a neat coil on top. You know, and, and sort of retain the strings there. That's one way if you like it, uh, but I like to cut it. Be careful when you're cutting, don't cut the one with the tension and... All right, uh, now we are done with the strings, we have cut the excess as well. So now it's tuning. All right, we are done with tuning the instrument. Over the next few days, the strings will stretch and uh, you will probably need a couple more tunings to go to stabilize the strings. Right now, what we like to do is we like to check the relief because of the way how the strings uh, vibrate, they actually goes like that. So you need to give it a little bit of curve here, prevent some buzzing as well. So how do we check for relief? We actually press on the first fret and then on the 14th fret and then we tap it I uh, should be able to have one or two uh, pieces of paper to go through and uh, as of now I'm looking at about one piece of paper and I would like a little bit more relief especially if you're a heavy strummer so we take our Hosanna Allen key here you actually have a protective sleeve here that actually prevents you from damaging your strings very clear we want to add a little bit more relief to the neck so we want the neck to come up towards me so that's how I remember it. I want the neck to come up towards me. I want to turn this towards me as well. If I want the neck to move away from me, means straightening the neck, I will push it away from me. Of course, you can remember it has a clockwise or counterclockwise. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so. Right, a little bit goes a long way, so let's uh, just do a quick check again. And yes, I'm looking very happy. I'm very happy with what I'm looking at right now. Uh, it has good relief right now. And all right, we are done with uh, today's restringing of a steel string guitar. Thank you very much.